Healthy right. relationships are based in honesty and trust, but when you're first starting to date somebody, how much of yourself should you reveal? We had a big discussion on our Facebook Live about this with our staff, yep. and most of our staff agreed, uh, less history, more, more mystery. mystery. That's Don't say too much. <laughs> no. But is that right? How about our, our gal from It's Just Lunch, <laughs> Hope is joining us, talking about, is it true that some secrets are best left unsaid? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. And I think there's a big difference. We have to differentiate between being dishonest mm -hmm. and oversharing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I have some tips for you on some things that it's okay to leave out, especially in the beginning. Okay. 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 First is personal contact information. What do you so, mean? So especially if you're dating online, oh. it's a good idea to keep some of that to yourself when you're first having those conversations. I wouldn't share where you work. Hey, here's my direct dial to my office. Oh, okay. You know, that right. information or even the name of the company that you are working for. Right. You may want to keep that a secret until okay. you're feeling like it's really going to be moving in the direction of a relationship. So letting right? them know where you live is probably definitely Yeah, don't out. give them your address right out <laughs> of the okay. gate. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> next, it is. next is money matters. And you guys would be surprised how often money comes up. And too oh, soon. I believe it. Right. Too soon. Mm -hmm. So it's not okay to ask somebody on the first couple of dates, so how much money do you make? <laughs> right. or, do you have a 401k? Yeah, what's, what's your debt like, <laughs> right? right? The, again, these are things that as you're getting to know each other, if you are moving in that direction, right. it's going to be a relationship. You're going to be talking about the future. Okay. And money is going to come up, and you're going to have those conversations. But it's not necessarily you don't want to sit down on the first date and say, so I just got divorced and I'm in debt, you know. Right. I totally this filed much bankruptcy. Money. And speaking of just it's got divorced, okay. what about your dating history? Yes, dating history, relationship history. No need to discuss that when you're first getting to know someone. A lot of people do this. They yeah. go and they're sitting on a first date or second date and they're talking about all their past dates, right? Man, mm -hmm. That's the worst thing. You don't want to do exactly. that. Exactly. You right. cannot be present in the moment if you're talking about the past. And yeah. whether you've been on five dates or 500, mm -hmm. it's really better to keep that to yourself. Right. At, at the beginning, you don't want to make the other people feel like you might be, oh, a, a dating, a serial dater or okay. a commitment phobe. Right. It that can come sense. across wrong. Now, very quickly, we're out of time, but what about bad habits or, or idiosyncrasies about yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, should you come out with that? I sleep in Eric Church's shirt at night. With it, yeah. <laughs> Again, these are things that it's okay to not share right off the bat. Okay. You know, you're not being dishonest but you're not oversharing. These are things that as you're dating, they're going to come out and the person will learn about you. And it's yep. better because okay. then they got to know you a little more, so then they might be more willing Forgiving. to accept A little it. mystery Forgiving. is good, right. and too much too soon is not a good idea. Good yeah, advice. that's my teddy bear. What of it? <laughs> yeah, you... hey, here's the deal. Uh, it's Just Lunch Denver is a great website that takes it to the next level. It's not just like a Tinder. It's actually personalized one-on-one -on -one attention to get you with the yeah. man or woman of your dreams. So mm -hmm. head to itsjustlunchdenver.com. Good to see you, Hope. Good, good to see, see you guys. guys. And we know somebody that Hope has set up with somebody, and it is going really we well. You do? You do? Yes, we do. Who? I can't say right. because I don't want to so. ruin it. But <laughs> well, I, it's definitely I, but not Megan. Man, she, no, it wasn't Megan Mooney. Or, or this Megan? No, I thought about Megan Mooney. <laughs> yeah, Megan.